Hello YouTube and welcome back to the latest UCC video. Now, it has been quite a while since the last one, because I do apologize for that, but the stats, as you know, the stats don't lie, and UCC's like really been dropping off. It's creeping back up again. So I thought, I'm miles behind at this point, because last video I reacted was like week five or week four? I think like week 10 or 11 at this point. So I'm quite a while behind. So in today's episode, I'm going to just go over the all the bouts from the third set of the UCC. If you don't understand like all the sets and everything, go back and check out the other UCC videos that went up on the channel um, from this season. And this set is the bog standard normal ordinary set. So three games in this set. Um, game one, I played the um, so Valley in the D, who I coached by. Um, I can't, why? Um, I am so bad with names. I I really am so bad with names. I am. So sorry, where Eric? That's the one. I never begin with V. I just couldn't remember who it was. Uh, game two was against Lesser Glide guys, coached by Dean, who joined back recently because someone was busy and had to leave. And I haven't battled Dean since like season ten or nine of UCC. I think no, season ten. I think it's season ten. Yeah, season ten was the last time I played Dean. And the last game was against Lesser Leafion, coached by. Um, Izandi, and again, I don't think I've played him either. So, three games today, and hopefully, uh, we can gain some points in this set and do the most. So, I don't really have a plan of what to like talk about in this video. But like, if I go, over I'll, just, I'll go briefly go over the teams of each game, and then I'll do the game, and then we'll be like that. So, it'll probably be longer than the usual UC videos, which run the postcon videos, which run like 15, 20 minutes. I'll probably be more like. 30 to 30, 40 minutes, but we'll just go over it, shall we? So, the first game was against the Valley in the D, uh, week number seven, and we had brought Latias, or Concord, Concord or Latias, hold that true skill of Levitate, with Energy Ball, Drake and Meteor, Psychic and Him, Power Bug, with Max Speed, Max Bridge Attack, Jolly Nature. Um, I can't, I don't remember anything about the team. I was going to go over the sets and then we'll go into the battle and I'll talk more about it there. But next up we've got Mega Smash and Mega Lucario. Lucario Light with Dapp's Billy. The Sword Sun, Bullet Punch, Close Combat, and Earthquake. 24 HP, 252 Attack, 252 Speed. Uh, timid? Jolly. Jolly. You're Timid. You're Jolly. There we go. But next up we've got Earth Puke, our Heat Tran, Left Over Flash Fire. Earth Power, Stealth Rock, Lava Cube, Will O Wisp. Max HP, 128 Special Attack, 128 Special Defense. Uh, Modest Nature. Uh, next up we've got Nuclear Alola Muck with Black Sludge, Poison Touch, Hidden Power of Fire, Poison Jab, Curse, Knock Off with HP and Max Attack, Adamant Nature. We've also got George, our Ambipom with Silk Dark Technician with Taunt, Fake Out, Double Hit and Fire Punch. And last time we've got Pika Frickin' P, our Pikachu, Light Ball with Static with Thunder, Grass, Not Jelly and Signal Beam. So, um, as you can see, uh, the team here brought Kartana, Politoed, Mega Swampert, Genesex, Zygarde, Tempest and Hooper Unbound. So, that explains why most of my mons have got fire type moves because he's got two mons quad weak to fire in Genesect and in Kartana. I've brought Thunder on Pikachu because he has poly Drizzle Politoed. And I know nothing about Drizzle Politoed. So, I just Drizzle Mega Swampert. So, that is why Latias is Scarf to outspeed Swampert in the rain. They come with Energy Ball. Uh, Luka, um, so, yeah, Heatran this is basically there for Kartana and the Genesect. Uh, Muck has got HP Fire for the Kartana because Fire Punch doesn't kill it, but. Hidden Power 5 does because Kartana's first defense is absolutely trash and his physical defense is quite good. Uh, Abipom has got Taunt, so he can taunt the likes of the. Um, what's that to taunt? I can't remember what else was on his team, but nothing on there warrants a taunt, barring Politoed, possibly, or if he's got us. Because I know for a fact Mega Swampert's only setup option is Workup. Uh, Zygarde Rocks, maybe? I don't know. Default Kartana. I don't know. So let's just jump to the game. It's been, I can't remember when this was, May the 30th this was uploaded. It is now July. This is how far behind I've gone. So let's just jump in and see how well we do in this game. So if I can remember what actually happened. So it, I lead with Latias, predicting him to lead with Politoed, I think, or with Zygarde. I thought both of leads, Politoed, um, Latias is a good option. So he leads with Hooper, and I'm thinking, okay, this is a bad matchup. Let me switch out into, um, Nuclear because obviously he's probably going to go for a dark type move or knock off or something. And I thought knock off, okay, if he's going to go for knock off, he should go to Mega Lucario. But if, in the off chance he predicts that and goes for a psychic type move, I didn't want to risk that at turn one. So uh, 
He does he does go for the psychic. And that was a good job I didn't go into Lucario, putting the knockoff, so that was a good play by me. Kind of, I don't know. I just as you go down to his polytoad now, taking up that drizzle. I go for the knockoff on the on the hooper, knock off the damp rock. So knowing his damp rock is a good option. So you go into Concord. As he goes for Earthquake, which was a good spring by um uh my opponent there to um definitely to help against the muck and the heatran because probably muck would probably be the most likely option to switch into this thing because it can't really because what's well, usually run what when my when polytoad in p in p, uh, pdl p, pdl pcl i can't remember if they're all the same pcl daily that's the one and um you usually run toxic whirlpool scold ice beam Perish song. Mark eats all those up. So Mark is probably the main switching I have to Politoed. So bring Earthquake on Politoed was a good break. So I go for the Draco on the Politoed. It lives on 4%. I'm thinking, okay. That's quite annoying. So he goes for Toxic. To Concord is unfortunately toxic, but I switch around to Muck, where what I should have done was clicked Energy Ball. Because even at minus two, it would have still done a a ton of damage to this thing um, and I don't know and so I switch out into nuclear and he gets into his mega swamper now I switch out straight into latter freaking EQ from the mega swamper which he does go for and now I know I outspeed him click energy ball swamper to go down so that's that that's the, that's that's the whole point of latter being scarfed to shut down that mega swamper in the rain so that, I was absolutely ecstatic when mega swamper went down turn seven so, out comes the Genesect. Now, now he knows which choice to scarf. So, that's very unfortunate. So we can't. We can. We have to try and play around that. So, I go into Muck as he goes to Genesect because obviously I'm locked into Energy Ball and Energy Ball's going to do absolutely zero to Genesect. So I go into Muck as he goes for the Shift Gear and now plus two attack, plus two speed. As he goes for the Iron Head, I go for the Knock Off. Get a crit Iron Head. Iron Head Knock Off. Bring it down to 1% pretty much. And I'd had did quite a chunk to me. So if I had Shadow Sneak, that would have been absolutely amazing. But he finishes off the um He finishes off the um uh, muck. And um very unfortunate, because if I had Shadow Sneak, possibly thing could have done different. But what do you even have on you? I can't remember. I just did the recap. Hit power fire, poison jab, curse and knock off. If I'd um Shadow Sneak over Curse, that might have been a better bring. Just, but nothing warranted to run Shadow Sneak barring that situation. So, who knows, who knows, who knows. So, I go out to Politoed, so I'm predicting the fake out. So, he sacks off his Politoed to set up the rain for one last time as he goes down to his Hooper Unbound. He goes for the Psychic. George lives on 13%, and I miss my double hit. And I'm thinking, okay, that was really annoying. That was really, really annoying because double hit Oko, this Hooper. Double hit Oko the Hooper with Silk Scarf. Unless he was a bulky set. This Oko, 100% every day of the week. And I live the sidekick, I'm thinking, yes, okay, it's time. Ambi Pop, cut! Oh, wait, no, I miss. I miss with double hit. Oh, it's like, oh my god, this, this is my luck. My luck is atrocious. So I have to switch out to creating another sidekick because I want to live another one. So I'm going back into Concord. As he goes down to his Genesect, get down the boot to sack this thing off as I go for Draco. Which I probably shouldn't have done. I probably should have went for um, Energy Ball or something. So he gets a free switch into Zygarde because um, just to get a set of Dragon Dance. I'll go for Draco to try and get some chip on it. And I missed my Draco as well. So that, is, that was so annoying. I missed my double hit and my Draco. And I'm like, why? Why is my luck so bad? Why? That is so annoying. So I go for Draco again. And look at that. This thing would have been a blitz. This thing would have been gone if I landed that Draco. Because at minus two, it did 96% still to this Zygarde 10%. And I was like, I could have won this game. I could have won the game. I could have won. Like, like now this now this Zygarde is at plus two, plus two. I'm going to Ampom and fake it out. So he switches out. He goes into Katana. And he goes for Sacred Sword. And at this point, I completely forgot that uh, Kartana got Secret Sword. 
And now it's a plus one attack. And um, yeah, it can pretty much oko my entire team with Sacred Swords. Because Lucario's weak to it, Heatran's weak to it, and I've got a Pikachu. So this Kartana, I do believe, just sweeps my team at this stage. So he goes for Z, all out pummeling. I don't understand why he did that. I do not understand why he went for the Z move there because he could have, um, yeah, I still, because when the Sacred Sword have killed me at plus one anyway, unless you want just to show off his Z move. And again, um, if I brought special Lucario with Vacuum Wave, um, yeah, I could have won the game from this stage because that, uh, uh, the adaptability vacuum wave just blows this katana back every day of the week. But I didn't. I was physical and I had bullet punch. And as you can see, bullet punch did 16%, which is ridiculous. So you just go for Sacred Sword, knocks out Mega Lucario, out comes Pikachu. And what can Pikachu do? Absolutely nothing. He goes for Protect. As I go for Signal Beam. Now. D now. 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 Oh, I could, I, I, I could have, that protect was madness, because if I knew he'd go, he click for protect, just to like, I don't know why, I don't know why he clicked protect, but, just, but maybe to just to see what I had, really, I don't know why, but if I clicked agility that turn, I would have outspent his entire team, um, signal beam would have killed the, um, signal beam would have killed this thing, See, then we would have killed the Hooper, and I was about to spend it. Unless Zygon had an extreme speed, or I would, Pikachu would have won the game. Because Zygon was at low health, like 4%, and Grass Knot or Signal Beam could have killed it. The Pikachu could have swept if I clicked Agility that turn. So that, I was like, what? Okay. 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 Just goes for knockoff, knocks off a light ball. Yeah. That was very, very, um... Annoying because that Ambipom miss was crucial on the Hooper because that means and all oh, right, this, this is like oh, the Ambipom miss and the and the Latias miss were big in that game, they were big, absolutely big. And it's like, okay, that, that's get that's game one out of the way. So, my next matchup was someone else who lost, and I'm playing Dean, and I'm like, okay, Dean's a good battler, and I was literally, I think I was his first game because. His opponent played week one and lost. So then he had to play me week two. And I'm like, okay. This is Dean's first game back in UTC for like a season and a half now. Um, and this was... I was like, okay. Okay, this is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting because I don't think... Last time I played Dean, I think it was in the... Um, it was in the... Uh, UCC fourth place playoff, I think. Yeah, it was. It was in the fourth place. Pl no, yeah, it was. It was in the fifth place playoff, and I lost. So I finished sixth, I think. Was that last time I played Dean in UCC? I think it was. I think that was the last season he was in because he wasn't in the last season, season eleven. I think that was season ten. It must have been. That must have been. That must. That must have. Must have. Must have. Must have. Must. Must have been last time I played Dean. If I'm wrong, you can shout me in the comments. But we played Dean this week, and I think I'll just quickly go from Tim again. So I've got Concord, Lassie, I've got Choice Scarf again. With Psy Shock, Drake and me, Hidden Power Fighting, and Shadow Ball. With 136 HP, 4 in defense, 252 special attack, modest nature with 116 in speed. Uh, we've got Baby James, our coughing with Evil Light Levitate, with Toxic Spikes, Will O Wisp, Infestation Haze, Max Special Defensive Bulk. Much as I could possibly get. Uh, we've got Pika Freaking P again with Thunderbolt Surf, Hidden Power Steel, and Thunder Wave with max special attack, max speed, and modest nature. We've got AZ, our Floet, Eternal with Leftover Flavel, Moonblast, HP Fire, Wishing Car Mind with max HP, max special attack. Uh, we've got George again with Ambipom Silk Scarf Technician with Fake Out, Knock Off, Seed Bomb, Double Hit, max speed, max attack, Jolly Nature. And we've got Mega Lucario, uh, Mega Smash with, with uh, Vacuum Wave, Nasty Pot Flash, and Dark Pulse. And if I brought this set last week, um, I would have won. Potentially. Yes, I probably would have done. Because um, Pikachu and um, Heatran were just walking around. And there was only, what, 
uh, a Zygarde on low health and a Hooper left. Which I think I could have dealt with. Especially with George. So, uh, still glad about that. But we move on to game number two. And it's on the wrong side. Because we're not Dean. We are the uh, Devious Kongs. And here's what Mega Manetric, Milotic, Blaziken, Diggersby, Sylveon and DeBlade. Now, Blaziken speed boost was a definite factor in this game. Um, I was most scared of. So I, I scarfed Latias to outspeed a Blaziken. I think of normal Blaziken to outspeed it at plus one. I think that's why I was scarfed that speed. So I outsped it at plus one and could kill up with Psychic. Um, got Toxic Spike as well because he didn't really have many hazard removal. And he said he had to move on this is Defog Blaziken. And if he brought Defog Blaziken, that would have been a really interesting bring and just waste the move on Blaziken to be honest. So Toxic Spikes were good because the only thing that couldn't get Toxic Spike was the Blade. And if we could Toxic the, the Milotic before it switches in, before it gets the Marvel Scale Boost of the Burn, that'd be amazing. Um, Floet, again, it's going to put in the absolute work once the Blade is gone. Pikachu is going to be the interesting tech with Surf to kill the Diggersby on taking Thunderbolt switches, switches in. Uh, Hidden Power Fighting is there for the... Um, I don't know why Hidden Power Fighting is on there. I don't know. And we've got Ambipom as well. We can put in the work, barring the uh, Blade. But do we have Knock Off? Do we have Knock Off on, on Ambipom? I just literally looked at it. We, we do. So that's fine. We've got Seabomb as well from the Milotic. And we've got Knock Off as well on Lucario. And we don't have Dark Pod because we're special this week. So, let's jump into this game versus Dean. And hopefully, um, we can put in the work. So I leave with Baby James, the coughing. As he Volt switches out and does 37% anti Blaziken as I set up my Toxic Spike. Start setting up Toxic Spikes. I switch out into Latias. Take him to go for Protect. But he doesn't. He goes for a Sword Dance. And I'm thinking, okay, yep, okay, that's fine. And he switches out. I'm thinking, okay, Blaziken... I don't know what move Blaziken can get that can touch a... I should have looked up what move Blaziken could actually have got to touch a... Um, Latios, because I don't think it has any, barring hidden powers. I don't think it does. Let's just do some research. While we're here, this video is going to be long anyway, so let's just jump in and look at Blaziken. Let's see if it had any moves, any moves in general that could have actually touched the Latias. I don't think it would have done. It gets Jewel Chop. Oh boy. Fling. Fury Cutter. It does get Knock Off. It gets Night Slash as well. And Shadow Claw. So if I had, like, Night Slash on it, it could have potentially have, um, been a bring and to Oko, um, Latios, but he obviously must not have had it. That's why he switched out. So I'm thinking, okay, that's fine. So I side shock his the blade, so I switch out into, uh, Lucario. And at this point, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to set up Nasty Plot, because the blade can't touch me! The blade can't touch me! Because, what's the blade going to do? Oh, it's got iron, it's got steel and ghost type moves. Oh, no, it can't really touch us. And then, once he click, he clicks Sacred Sword. And I'm thinking, well, damn it. I forgot that the blade got Sacred Sword. Because Aegislash gets it, doesn't it? And I had that in PCLD League. But I didn't really bring it. I, I was like, okay, I've lost the game now. I just threw away my Mega Lucario. I literally just wasted my Mega Lucario. My best mon on my team. Just throw it away. Now I've got three pretty much NFE mons. An Ambipom and a Latios. Mega Lucario is gone. And that, 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 was, that was game. That was game. What I should have done was just click Dark Pulse and just blow this thing back and play to the flinch, I guess. Or just, just go on the straight into, um, into a Floet. No. Kind of actually what's the massive problem for this team. So yeah, that was really, 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 really. They, they said in the chat, I'm an actual idiot. So I go into Concord and click um, Shadow Ball. Big team to go for a shadow sneak. I go into coughing. I don't know why I went to coughing, and I realised okay, 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 okay. It just does 32%, literally just over half. And if it was like, yep, yeah, okay, let's go into coughing, just sack thing off. I thought about going into ambipom, but I don't know why I didn't go into ambipom. To be honest, so I'm going to ambipom now. He goes into mega Manetri, gets the intimidate drop off, which is very unfortunate. I go for knockoff, which is nothing, obviously, because it's a mega. And I go into Pikachu, putting him to an electric, electric movie. If he goes for Signal Beam, I live on 11%. Predicting, probably predicting um, 
Latios to come in and I'm throwing so hard. I literally threw this game absolutely so hard. I sacked off Pikachu coughing for no reason. I sacked off Pikachu for no reason. I sacked off Mega Lucario for no reason. And I'm like, okay, AZ is my only hope. I'm setting up card mines, so I'm gonna wish. This, this is my only option to actually win this game with this AZ. It's the only thing I have potential to actually try and sweep. So I go for Moonblast, the plus one. Doesn't, doesn't do a lot to uh, my low tick. He reveals Haze on it. So I'm thinking, okay, right. What I need to do is set up Carmine again. He keeps spamming Haze. So, I was, so, so all I did was spam Carmine because the poison was going to rock him down. So he just keeps stacking up, stacking up, stacking up. So Milo T goes down, out comes Blaziken. What I should have done was just Moonblast it, which I did. It's on 25% because it's neutral. And now this Blaziken's at plus two, plus one. Goes for Flare Blitz, knocks me out. And I'm thinking, what I should have done, what I should have done, because I, th I think that Mega... I mean, AZ could have what could have actually put in the work for me, because the blade was at low health, was it not? I think it was. Yeah, the blade was at seven percent. So what I should have done was sacked off Concord, got into Concord versus versus after he set up a sword stance, and then Blaziken would have killed itself against me. It would have been a resisted hit, and Blaziken would have went down. I should have Floet here and. What I could have done was play around that. He'd gone to Sylveon. I would have just clicked. I don't know. Probably Psychic. Just to whittle the Sylveon down. And then I could have went to. Uh... No, I could have went to Sylveon against this thing. Set up a Calm Mine. So I'd live any hit from the, the Minetric. And then just spam Moonblast and win the game. But I didn't do that. Because I threw this game so hard. I literally. I. I'm telling you, I'm being honest, this is probably the worst game I've played in the UCC this season. I think I've lost 6 0 as well. But I played this really bad. Like, absolutely terrible. I'm having flashbacks now, and it's absolutely insane. I don't know why I went to Ambipom at this point. Maybe because I knew I'd live at Hyper Voice. So I just went for Fake Out, knocked out Sylveon. He goes out into Mega Manetric. I'm at minus 1. He outspeed me, so I went for Signal Beam. I sacked off Latios, and I thought, okay, that's fine. So I'm going to go out into George again. He's going to switch out into the Blade. We go for Fake Out. And uh, go for Knock Off. Knocked off its uh, Evil Light. Out comes Minetric, which is going to outspeed me. And uh, yeah, get to job. And that is GG to Dean. And in the normal format, I'm 0 and 2, minus 5. I'm thinking, okay. I actually, I know I've kept saying, I've said this like a hundred times, but that game, oh my god, that's probably the worst game I've ever played recently, I think, it has to be, surely. I threw, I, I made so many mistakes in that game, like, I can't even imagine, I can't even imagine how many mistakes I game. If I'd Mega Lucario, I could have... Because a vacuum wave would have okayed this thing. A vacuum wave would have probably okayed Diggersby. Oh my god. Oh my god. But yeah, that's that was game number two. And uh, yeah, the last game of the set, we played uh, the uh, Lexington Leafy on Coach by Izandi. And uh, this time, we did not bring Scarf Latios. We brought Scarf Floet Eternal with Moonblast. Hidden Power Rock, Side Kick, and Light of Ruin. With 128 HP, 252 Special Attack, 128 Speed, Choice Scar, obviously. Uh, we've got Blue Bee Milk, our Mill Tank, which we didn't bring Shiny because we we're dumb. Uh, with Max HP, Max Special Defense, Bulk, with Stealth Rock, Milk Drink, Rock Slide, and Toxic. Uh, next up, we've got Mega Smash, our Mega Lucario, with Side Kick, Aura Sphere, Flash Cannon, and Dark Pulse. Um, 248 Speed, 252 Special Attack. Uh, tip, timid, jolly, timid nature. Yeah, I think because his team didn't really have anything fast on his team because Choice Scarf Floet outsped his entire team with no, no investment. I don't think uh, Aura Sphere would have been, not Aura Sphere, Vacuum Wave would be useful. But, I'll see where we, uh, we've also brought Earth Puke, our Air Balloon Heat Tram, we love him, Dark Pulse, Flash Cannon and Stealth Rocks with Max HP, Max Special Attack, Modest Nature. Also brought Concord, the lattice on that sold you to boost its Dragon Pulse and Psychic Power. Also brought from Calm Mind and Ice Beam with max speed, max threat attack. Timid nature. 
And last but not least, again, we've got we've got the boy. We've got George, our life orbed uh, Ambi Pom technician with a nasty plot, thunder pulse, fake out, and water pulse. Because uh, yeah, I really want to. Tr I I I, re I really want to try out special Ambi Pom, and I think the thunderbolt because he had Pelipper. And uh, I thought, well, Thunder Punch doesn't Oko Pelipper, but Thunderbolt does. Or it, has, it does more. It does more damage. And at plus two, Thunderbolt and Water Pulse are going to do a lot of damage. Water Pulse is technician boosted, and Thunderbolt is going to be a lot of fun. So I thought, hey, why not? Its special attack is what 60, and at plus two, it's going to be semi decent damage. So I was really looking forward to trying trying it out. And he didn't even bring Pelipper. And I'm thinking, great. Super. Super, 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 super. So yeah, he brought Mega Burnett, Nida King, Murkrow, Tangrowth, Fur, and Greninja. Now, um, didn't bring the Pelipper, which I'm very unfortunate about. But uh, Abipom could st still potentially <laughs> um, Thunderbolt the Greninja. Uh, water pulse the kick. <laughs> oh, God damn it! I really, I was, I was so looking forward to this um, goddamn amp pop set to put in your work, but I have to see, won't we? So, uh, so I lead off blue with milk to set up some stealth rocks. He needs a fart, so I set up a stealth rocks. I think as for oh goes for Julie. I'm thinking, oh boy, he's gonna go for Julie and go to plus four. I go for toxic poison the poison the uh, strump as he goes for band pass out into mega Burnett. I'm thinking right. Okay then, this is actually scary. Because Mega Burnett's got stupid, stupid, stupid high attack. He misses Gunk Shot, which is very clutch. So I go to Heatran, dig him to go for a Gunk Shot again, which he does go for. And then I go into Mill Tank, dig him to go for a Shadow Claw, which he does go for. So he's, so I play the Mind Gauge right now. He goes for the Fun, so he moves for Thunder Wave, Gunk Shot, uh, Shadow Claw, and all that setup and fire, all of that was for nothing because, uh, yeah, because all these they're taking for Gunk Shot and Shadow Claw, and with Heat Trend and Mill Tank and Ambipom there, I could, as long as I predicted what it'd go for, I could go for Gunk Shot, Shadow Claw, Gunk Shot, Shadow Claw, Gunk Shot, Shadow Claw. Just play the mind games, go Mill Tank, Heat Trend, Mill Tank, Heat Trend, it was poison, so I, every time I kept switching, he'd get, get less and less and less and less HP, so. I thought that was a good play by me. So he, go, so he paralyzes my mill tank as he goes out to Nida King. So I go into Latias, thinking, oh, Latias can't really do anything to me. Revealed the Ice Punch, and I'm like, that was a, uh, that was a, uh, that was, that, 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 that was a good read by my opponent there. Um, because obviously, mill tank could have been thick fat, could have been scrappy, could have been sap sipper. Who knows? Because all of those abilities are good against his team, because he's got. Uh, thick fat for likes of Greninja Ice Beams um, and yeah, Greninja Ice Beams, obviously uh, Nido King Ice Beams, Ice Punches. He's got thick, uh, Scrappy to hit the Mega Burnett and he's got Sap Sipper to wall this thing. I think I was Sap Sipper, if I'm not mistaken. I was thick fat. So I have to play the mind games right now to try. I tried to bait that I was Sap Sipper. I think that's what I tried to do. Tried to bluff I had Sapsip. So you go for Brick Break on me, which doesn't do a lot of damage. So what I do is pretty much Milk Drink Toxic stall this um, Tangrowth. As I switch out as to like try and bluff the, the uh, try and bluff the uh, Sapsip as much as possible. So I go into this thing because it can't really touch me with a Brick Break. That's what it's going to go for again. So I went to Floet um, to try and get some damage off. So he goes into Thur as I click. Uh, he builds a choice scarf to go for Moonblast and knocks out the, the Thurrup. So now he knows I'm choice scarfed. Um, unless it, so I've, I've, I was thinking, right, this thing has to be choice scarfed, otherwise he wouldn't have gone into it. Because choice scarf near the king is the only, is the only thing that could have outsped uh, choice scarfed uh, Floet with that speed investment. So, because I think uh, normal, if he was life orb, he definitely would not outsped uh, Floet. So, I had to presume he was Choice Scarf, so I went to Heat Tram, taking him to Earthquake, which he does go for, but I'm Air Balloon. So he goes for the Ice Punch to break the uh, Air Balloon, and I think I'll go for Flash Cannon, so it does 68%. So I go into Mill Tank, taking him to Earthquake again, which does quite a bit of damage, I must, I must admit. So he does reveal the Life Orb, and I'm thinking, wait a minute. He reveals the Life Orb, 
Why would he go out into Nida King? Because Floet has got stupid high special attack. It does get access to Psychic. He must not have. No well, I was, I was choice scarfed. I don't think. Yeah, because Moon. I don't think Moon Blast would have killed it. Because resisted. Yeah. That I. I was pushing that play, but thinking back, it's probably a good one. It's probably a good one. So he goes for Poison Jab, to, and I sack off the Latias, thinking to Earthquake him. He doesn't go for the Poison Jab. We're going to George to get a fake out. Uh, fake it off. And it does quite a bit to this, this uh, punch crow. So going to flow out as he goes for the defog. So free turn by him. He sets up the Tailwind as I go for Moonblast. To uh, I don't know why he took Tailwind for Greninja. Yeah, Greninja to outspeed um, flow out. Goes for the Skulls. Does nothing because flow out's special defense is absolutely broken. And I get special attack drop as I go for Moonblast again. He goes for Gunk Shot. Super effective. I didn't realize he was a mixed Greninja, which was very good bring by him. So, because he went for Skull trying to think, oh. Can he go for the Skull to try and burn me or just go for the, um. I thought, oh, he's special. So I can live any hit from this thing. I've got special defense drop. It's going to be fine. Be revealed he's mixed. He goes for the long shot. Knocks out Floret. And I'm like, okay, that's very unfortunate. But George is here. He can fake out or whatever against this, uh, Tangrowth. So I switch out into, I think I switch out into Heatran at this stage. No, I go back into Mill Tank. So he goes for the knockoff. And I think I click Milk Drink this turn. As he goes for Brick Break, I, just, I think I just sack off Mill Tank to get free switching out into Heatran. Yeah, I do. So I can just kick Lava Plume. Knocks out um, the uh, Tangrowth. So he goes out into Nida King. He goes for the Earthquake. Knocks out um, that. I go out to Lucario and I can just click... Uh, or Sphere, outspeed his entire team, and that is GG. He goes for the Z uh, Acid Downpour, because he knew he'd already lost, because Ampop could just fake out this thing and kill it. So I just go for Or Sphere, and uh, very unfortunate, because... Yeah. That, I was really unfortunate, because the only thing I could actually be able to click on Ampom was fake out. Because I had to fake out and run away, fake out, run away, fake out, run away, fake out, run away. And one day, because the next set is Mix and Mega, so I couldn't, I, there was much better options to running special uh, Ami Pom. So maybe in a future set we can run some interesting text on Ami Pom. Try and get, try and get special Ami Pom to put in work in the future. But yeah, that is my week, I think, seven, eight, and nine games. Um, I think this is probably better to try and catch up because next set is Mix and Mega, which I'm very, very looking forward to because it gets more creative side and my, my weird brain can not be a weird set. Like Special Ambipom, for example, or Choice Scarf Flowette. So yeah, um, if you guys have enjoyed this UCC video, make sure to smash the like button down below, be subscribed if you're new around here and enjoy the UCC, and uh, leave any comments, I'll go on the wall. We're, we're almost up to the window. We're not really. We're not really. We need probably... A good few more to get out of the window but the aim is to get to the window by the time i leave in september which is two months two months away yeah two months away can we get there who knows anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye